Her blade broke. Hey, what is going on, my ninjas? So today we got Hellblade Part 4. And obviously, we all know that we did defeat the Sun God. So praise to that. And now we are on to find out what do we have to do now that we got the Illusion God and the Crow and the Sun God, the Fire. And now where do we have to go now? Where is this going? Are we going to find Dillian or can we finally like enter the gate? So let's get straight into it guys. Hellblade part four. We left off with defeating the fire. Now, where are we going now? That is the question. Where are we going? Truth was a troubled man. Scholar turned slave. They tortured him. Took him with them on their raids. Drove him to madness. Spreading this new form of darkness to new worlds. To my world. Man, is he gone now? Oh, you want to see the flames again. Senua saw a deep connection form between the Northmen and the darkness. His tales of hell were true. Then that was the source of it. She learned everything she could from him. Until she too could see what he saw. Still wait. Oh my goodness, I don't remember running this far. Actually, you know what? We did do a lot of running. Explain. Have you ever died before? It's a serious question. When the illusion of self is shattered, you simply cease to be. Though it may not seem that way to others. You know when it is true. You can feel it. A stranger in your own body. An imposter. And nothing is the same ever again. Senua has died before. And she will do so again. You can be sure the Mark of that. and the Mark of Certain. You may cross the bridge over the river of knives to Helheim. He came the cow. Why is she waiting? She open the gate. Open the no, gate. Don't. No, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Don't. Don't. She's done it. Who now? No one here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you that. go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. It will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. Where all dreams come true, you 
searched for control. A way to pull through. When you were in love, you left him in tears. To smother your furies. And banish your fears. But in darkness they came. Through stormy black seas they raided these shores. Do you still hear his screams? And now, at your home, he's so far away. They've taken his soul These gods you cannot pray. They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through his darkness you will find him. In your sword still beats a heart. He fought for love unspoiled. By your darkness within. He fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. He's dead. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye. And you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. Okay, can we like take the moment about like knowing the fact that oh whoa they literally showed Dillian like hanged up there you fought for your dreams now there's no like his legs and everything he was he was dead and shredded all right we gotta do this oh the gods made you a warrior for a reason. It's your calling. Yes.
Oh. Wait, wait, we're not dying yet. Oh my goodness. What? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Bing. Ooh. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Bing. Uh. Uh. Yup. 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 Uh. They said, <laughs> we ain't gonna wait. <laughs> we ain't gonna wait. Oh my goodness. That was ridiculous, guys. Every gate you open into darkness brings another chance. Oh! Oh! Dude. Dude, dude, dude. Oh! Oh! I needed to get up. Like, I had to press buttons. What the heck? Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness, there was... Be dying, I cannot I cannot be dying. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on. It's not it's not this guy out of the way. There you go. There you go. Now, 
What in the world was that? That stuff, that thing was massive. However you come to the gold covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess. All right, let's see what this is. The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each must find their own path. Align yourself to its secrets, and you will find yours. Oh, is that the act? <laughs> I think I found the act. Found it. <laughs> Oh, well, that one was cool. Hela possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold, all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize, half black and half the color of flesh. And her face, menacing and grim. All right, well, that's a little description of Ella. Picking up the gate is opening. Who is it? of the darkness. It's coming. This is your moment. What? I'm sorry. What in the world is that? What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Fight it. Fight it, Sanua. Get up. Get up and fight. Her blade broke. Her blade broke.
stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through our eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You fail the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What are you thinking? Did you really think you could win? So How stupid can you be? So stupid. Everyone hates her. She's cursed. A shadow of hate. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. Talk it to yourself. What's that? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just Do like your soul. Come on. There. Oh. Why go on? And you give everything and face that which torments you. Only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory. A feeling. Song. It's not real. It's true. It has been real. Listen to it. She can't give up. Did it? Did it? It's not like this. It can't. It's not real. It is real. It's a trick. Don't trust it. Maybe you're already dead. Who are you? Do you still believe in me, Shadow? Is that Dillion? Where were you, man? Come to me. Please. I have a sword for this. <laughs> Dude, did you guys see that thing? That stuff was massive. There it is. Hello, huh? It's dead. He's gone. Come, you were too come. slow. How could you keep going? How could you keep going? Ignore the pain. I told you it was the trick to you. Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's in Bell, not sure of that. <coughs> Only occasionally did she venture out on her own. Thanks. Collecting firewood and herbs. <coughs> Errands out in the Ogney Plains. Was her world like this one? 
first time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing, and the world danced with him. The gloom lifted, and for the first time in years she felt a ray of hope. Now she was dancing. Man, it's so painful. I can just imagine. I, I already know what it feels like to get hurt and just all that is just crushing. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him. Perfecting her own secret dance. Wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last. Whoa. Where are you going? Where is she going? Where is she? What is she following? You can't even fight. It's just deception. Okay, she tripping. <laughs> you know where you're really at. If only she could do the same. See the world through eyes and you. What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I, I watched you and... You... Learned all of that from watching me. <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dilly. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your swords. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Cinema knows that there's no going back to how things work. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide, and don't tell Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here. You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No. And all your suffering will have been for nothing. Shut up! Oh. You want to 
believe it. Is it that real? Is it that? You are alive. Ooh. As the she-wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, he bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood. You are blood. Is this where you were, Dillian? The sword. I need those swords and then I gotta do these trials oh my goodness oh. a king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn. And it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? What? It's so strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary, inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes, it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones. Then comes the reckoning. Hey, what is going on, my ninjas? So that is it for part four, my ninjas, because we just saw Hela, and maybe we just saw Dillian, because now we're doing the shards for the sword of... But that sword destroys gods, and we need that to destroy Hela, because that is one Hela big girl, man. That, what is that? that is... She was massive. And how was that dude that, like, cheap shot at me as soon as I opened that door? Oh! Yeah, exactly. So, we're gonna go ahead and do part five. Until next time, 
waiting for part five, Meninjas.